Lewis Hamilton spoke to Valentine Rossi about their own racing series, claiming MotoGP was more dangerous. Lewis Hamilton has taken a swipe at F1 bosses, warning the pinnacle of motorsport is not more hardcore than other racing series. The seven-time champion claimed MotoGP was more dangerous than F1 as crashes are a lot bigger. He warned the fear factor is always there for motorbike racers whereas F1 is getting safer and safer. He claimed F1 drivers watch motorcycle racing in complete shock due to the danger involved. Speaking at a sponsor's event alongside Rossi, he said, Valentino spoke about Formula One drivers admiring MotoGP and MotoGP riders admiring F1. For us, I personally think that MotoGP is more hardcore. These guys don't have seatbelts. When they have a crash, it's big. It's very, very difficult for them to improve safety, so that fear factor is always there and it's been there for years. Our sport is getting safer and safer. We watch MotoGP in complete shock. It is nerve-wracking. Hamilton even suggested he could have joined MotoGP himself as a kid had his dad not got him into cars instead. He claimed he has always loved bikes, but Dad Anthony wouldn't let him race them as it was too dangerous. However, MotoGP legend Rossi praised F1 saying many of the riders love watching races. He claimed both F1 and MotoGP were at the top of motorsport and were very similar. He said, all the MotoGP riders love Formula One, and the Formula One drivers love MotoGP. The two sports are at the top of motorsport and are very connected. To drive a car or to ride a motorcycle? It is different but also the same. The lines are similar, and the braking. You have to be fast. If you can drive a car, you can also ride a bike. And the opposite, Hamilton even asked Rossi whether he would come to F1. However, Rossi replied, unfortunately, I am too old. Rossi has tried his hand behind the wheel of an F1 car on multiple occasions but has never made the switch. He first tested a Ferrari F1 car at the team's Fiorano test track back in April 2004. He tested Hamilton's car back in 2019 as the pair switched vehicles as part of a TV package for Sky Sports. Yeah.